life this time Hi, my name is Ati Miataza and I am the beauty editor of the National Magazine. Um, the top must-have products for summer. Um, let me start at the top. Um, we live in a very harsh climate. The sun is very harsh on our skins and we need to use sunscreen. We know we think we're black, no, we have melanin, we're dark. But actually sunscreen is very important to protect our skins from um, the UVA, UVB rays. And actually, if I don't use sunscreen, I can actually see a difference in my skin. Like, I burn, I get like a fine rash, and it's actually important to keep your skin protected. And you should be doing it from a young age. You should be doing it on your kids, your man, everyone should be using sunscreen. Especially on the face and then on the body if you're going to be like in a swimwear or you're going to be off your body. The second must have product for summer, um, it's like a new trend that's coming out, um, which are oils um, for hair, your skin, and specifically body oils. Body oils are a good way to moisturize your skin because um, it feels lightweight and it actually gets absorbed very nicely by the skin. And if you have dry skin, you can even include like a body cream on top. But if your skin is not that dry, you can just use it all by itself, apply it on your whole body, and it gives you like a nice sheen and a nice gloss. And it's very, very good. The third product you should be using um, in summer, it's not very sexy, but um, it's very important because our heels are out a lot in sandals and summer shoes. Um, you need to use a, um, a product to soften your heels. So if what you do first is you scrub your foot um, or you exfoliate your heels with like a pumice stone or you can use an exfoliating scrub. And then afterwards you can follow with a, a heel softening balm which will make your feet look nice and pretty and you know appropriate for summer. And the fourth product that I personally love for summer, it's very fun to have like a nice Beyonce yellow glow on your skin. And bronze is good because it gives you that nice, like healthy sheen, you know. You put it on, on your face, it comes in like a nice compact that you can put on your face. Or you can use it on your body as well. This body bronzer and this face bronzer, so you can just look nice and glow from here to yeah. And the fifth product that I'm going to talk about that I think is a must-have for summer and spring is cellulite cream. Um, people are very skeptical when you mention things for cellulite and body contour and stuff because they don't think it really works, but it really does work. Um, when you use a cellulite cream, what you need to do is apply it in an upwards movement on your thigh and hip area. And then after that, take some cling wrap, use cling wrap like you use in the kitchen, and you wrap it around your area, um, your thigh and buttock area, and you leave it on for about an hour. It will sting and feel good and comfortable, but when you take it off, I promise you will see the results. Your skin will be smoother and if you do that regularly and you exercise and eat well, you should minimize the cellulite by like a large percentage. Okay. And those are my top five must-have products for summer that I think every woman and man should have in their beauty arsenal. The top five trends for summer and spring are inspired by international runways and also celebrities on the red carpet. So the things that you see on like people that you like to watch, like your Beyonce's, you repeat that normal, so whatever that you like. And sometimes um, runway shows, they trickle down to, to, to the general, I don't know, population as well because they are the ones that set the trends. So the things that I've picked up that I am looking out for, that I like for this season are, okay. There's five things and I'm going to be very quick in mentioning. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'll just give you a very quick rundown of what they are and then you can interpret them in your own way. The first trend that I love and I think it's been around for a long time and I like the fact that it's not going away and that is bright lipstick. Um, bright lipstick is nice because it's a fun, nice way to enjoy summer and just makes you feel girly and not cute. Um, what you need to remember when you wear bright lipstick is that you have to have foundation on your face or BB cream. You can't just have a plain face and lipstick on because it doesn't look you know, that well thought out and put together. And also, you need to make sure that your eye area is, is kept in minimum. So you can wear eyeliner, but that's it. Eyeliner and foundation lipstick, and that will give you a nice, you know, wearable everyday look for summer. The second thing that I like, and it hasn't come, I haven't seen it on many people yet, but I think it's coming down slowly, and that is bright colored eyeliner. So a liquid liner, usually people see it in like black, and they do like a nice cap eye with it. But now you'll find colors in pink and blue and green, it looks really fun and you don't have to know how to put an eyeshadow, you just put on the eyeliner and you have a 
nice bright makeup look. The third trend is made famous by Rihanna, you know the singer and the very controversial it's girl Rihanna. Um, stiletto nails are basically a nail shape that is long, kind of looks like you can put people with it. It's very sharp at the ends and it's very, it's very, you know, it's very bad girl if you know what I mean. It's very like daring and it's cool and you can do lots of cool designs with it and you can have lots of cool colors and a nice way. I wouldn't suggest wearing it for the office. It's a bit OTT for the office, but it's nice for holiday season or, you know, just for your personal time. The last two trends I'm going to talk about are hair related. Um, the first is Bob Briggs. Um, that's a trend that has been around since the 90s, recently come back. So basically, you put on your normal box braids, but in a bob shape and they're nice and short and cute. And they're not as heavy as like your normal box braids for summer. So that's a very cool summer trend. And the last one is um, short hair. Um, you see people like Rupita Nyong'o and Nandim Goma, they're having this nice cool box cut. Kind of inspired by men and it's really cool and funky and it's a very very cool summer trend. In order to have the perfect summer look, you need to start from inside. You know, you, you must eat well, you must exercise, and nobody likes to hear this, but those things are very important. Your skin is to grow from inside, you know. You need to eat well, you need to make sure that you get enough sleep and take care of yourself and try and laugh and be happy because that's what makes you feel the person. Um, and those are my top five summer trends for beautiful hair and makeup and skin. Hope you enjoy this.